Welcome back to Mathwino. Solve the value of a and b from this system of equations. 2 power of a then times 3 to the power of b is equal to 12. And 2 to the power of b then times 3 to the power of a is 18. How should we solve this problem? Literally, they appear as exponents. So this is the problem. Our goal is to find a simple relationship between a and b. Which method should we use? For the powers, we always expect their multiplications and their divisions. So let's do it. This, this, the first equation and the second equation. Firstly, cut the multiplication of them. The product of the first equation and the second equation is 11 side is just 2 to the power of a times 3 to the power of b then times 2 to the power of b then times 3 to the power of a. I can switch the orders. So I'm going to let 2 to the power of a multiply 2 to the power of b first. So I'm going to let 2 to the power of a multiply by 2 to the power of b first. That is 2 to the power of a times 2 to the power of b. And then times 3 to the power of b then times 3 to the power of a is just 3 to the power of a then times 3 to the power of b. Is equal to 12 times 18. In the multiplications, we can always switch the orders of the factors. So the left-hand side is just this times this. And then we're going to use this formula. a to the power of m and then times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. I'd rather roll x instead of this a, since it is very confusing with this a, right? This is only the formula, and this is our problem. Don't get confused. By using this formula, what can we get? 2 power of a times 2 power of b. It is 2 power of a plus b. And then times. They also have the same basis. So it is 3 to the power of a plus b is equal to 12 times 18. Maybe you found out that these two guys, they have the same exponents, but different bases. So we can use another formula with the left hand side. That is, hmm, this time I'm going to write x not a or b, okay? So, x to the power of m, and then times y to the power of m is equal to xy all to the power of m. So it is 2 times 3 all to the power of a plus b. It is 6 to the power of a plus b. And the right hand side, 12 times 18. It is 12, you know that. It is 6 times 2. And 18, it is 6 times 3. And this 2 times 3 is another 6. So 6 times 6, then times 6. It is 6 to the power of 3. 6 to the power of 3 right in here. The left hand side and the right hand side have the same value and they also have the same basis. So we can get their exponents are also same. a plus b is equal to 3. Here, a plus b is 3. Not only do we expect their product, but division as well. So. The first equation 
divided by the second equation to the power of a, then times 3 to the power of b, and then divided by 2 to the power of b times 3 to the power of a is equal to 12 divided by 18. Of course, it is the same as 2 power of a divided by 2 power of b, and then times 3 to the power of b divided by 3 to the power of a, 12 divided by 18. The great common factor of them is 6, so it is 2 thirds. Go ahead and solve it. The left hand side, 2 power of a divided by 2 power of b, it is 2 power of a minus b. Mm -hmm. And then times 3 to the power of b minus a. And we know that b minus a is the opposite from a minus b. So it is equal to 3 to the power of minus a minus b. It is 2 divided by 3. We all know that x to the power of negative m is equal to 1 divided by x to the power of m. So 2 to the power of a minus b then times 3 to the power of negative a minus b. It is equal to 2 to the power of a minus b divided by 3 to the power of a minus b is 2 thirds. So finally, by using this formula, that means 2 divided by 3 all to the power of a minus b is equal to 2 divided by 3. 2 divided by 3, this is 2 power of 1. So a minus b is equal to 1, just like here. So we can get a minus b is 1. a plus b, 3. a minus b is 1. If you add these two equations together, and you can get 2a is equal to 4, and 1a is 2. And if you subtract the second equation from the first equation, and you can get 2b is equal to 2, and b is equal to 1. So the final answer, a, b, it is equal to 2, 1. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.